Today we're gonna replace cam position sensors on this 2010 Mercedes E350 2009-2016 and these sensors are located pretty conveniently in front so as you can see there's one and so two sensors here and on the other side similarly one and two so cam position sensors and the magnetic adjusters they also need to be changed so there's two of them on each side for those as well so one two three four parts one two three four parts is the top yeah so let's take that pipe off just push it down pull it back it's compresses a bit yeah there you go now turn all right so that's how it comes off same ordeal here take the front off there you go and uh, twist to the side and it comes off all right so once that's out we have clear if you look closely, you can see that cam pushion sensors have one bolt in them and the magnetic camshaft sensors have two bolts in them. They are all E8 reverse torques and you need to have the sort of a reverse torque style set in order to tackle this car. So this is how it looks, not this style. It's the female version of it. Let's take the cam pushion sensors first. Tighter spaces you could potentially use 16 to 8 millimeter ratchets like these right just one bolt and should come off once you wiggle and then take the electrical wire off all right the trick with the electrical is you have to gently pry that gray and stop right there and there with a little catch it comes right off right now let's put the new one in while the cam pushing sensor is off it's easier to access the magnetic camshaft sensor so we will do that it's three reverse torque screws E8 and careful not to drop it other than that it's just straightforward you pull off all three and it should come off just like the cam pushion sensor right all three bolts are out now slowly wiggle it and see if it comes off yep there you go it's just held on by a rubber gasket so there it is now we undo the electrical just like before move this gray part back a little as you can see here that little pin needs to be pushed up and then it comes off right we can put the new one in <clears throat> once the sensors are out we are replacing with a new one make sure you get bosch there are other companies that make cheaper stuff but for this particular car the computer does recognize OEM versus other aftermarket parts and sometimes may have resistant problems. So click, stick it into the hole, line it up with the screw. Okay, and that is it for changing this sensor. And we'll do the next one here. And we repeat the same process for the other side here and here. Next, we'll see the camshaft magnetic sensor, how to take that off. It's two screws rather than one. That's about it, nothing different and it comes off all right so we got enough room now for that magnetic sensor as you can see three bolts one two and... okay one thing to be careful about is that once you remove this magnetic sensor if you notice the o-ring was still staying in there so don't accidentally leave it in there because this is supposed to come with it and the new one also has it so we don't want two o-rings sitting in there after we replace so make sure this area is clean lubricated but without any debris or o-ring in there now let's put the new one in there position it so that the screws line up and this is also original mercedes-benz oem equipment yep. the box looks like this part number and all three bolts are lined up right go around and check if everything is tight and finally we put the electrical wiring back on so make sure it's uh, lined up correctly and you'll hear the click and then you can push this in to lock it in place and that's it that's how you chain that and then the cam position sensor and you keep doing that for all four of these sensors of each side a little challenge came up where you know moving just this piece is not enough we had to move this entire bracket in order to access the magnetic sensors behind it which involves um, the screw t30 all the way in the back it needs extension and uh, regular t30 torx bit and it's working the challenge is there's lots of vacuum hoses right next to it so all right there's a third bolt here as well just loosen that that gave enough wiggle room to access this bolt now we can back in business to take this off 
Okay, after this it's the same process as before. The challenge on this side for these magnetic sensor is that they are behind something else. So in this case, behind the power steering pump, the power steering reservoir here, and the bolt down there, it's really hard to reach, that one. And also the bolt is hard to reach. What you can do is use a quarter inch regular wrench, very slim one, and that does work on these torques. It's a little hard. Yeah, it will fit once you loosen it. Basically use your fingers at that point and start turning that. And that's how you can get to these two. If they're stripped, then you have to take this off and this off to get to that. So hopefully pray that it doesn't strip. All right, there you have it. That's how you would change the cam position sensor and the magnetic camshaft sensors on a W212 Mercedes E350 from 2009 to 2016. And I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and come back to see what else we can do with this car. And I'll see you in the next video.